everyone, my name is Samantha Flowers, and I'm the sound designer and voice of Silva in Subverse. If you've been keeping up with the development of the game, you may already be aware that a story update is going live today. However, instead of just throwing a wall of patch notes at you like we've done in the past, we thought it would be more entertaining to show you some of the cool new changes we've been working on. Hope you've got your bags packed, because we're finally heading to the Teeley homeworld to recruit Silva! Please note, this only includes the first half of Silva's recruitment mission. It's a big one in total, with a plethora of characters and group interactions similar to the Alasia update, which was really well received. As part of our pledge to deliver more frequent updates and to not keep you guys waiting any longer, we had to split this recruitment mission into two parts. Huntress fans rejoice! Our favorite squid girl returns for another battle. And to top it off, she's got some new tricks up her sleeve. A few grid combat maps have received a much-needed makeover. Our artists, Professor Bang, WTX, and Beamwire worked really hard on reimagining these lava, ice, and moon maps. And there will be more to come in future updates. Our goal is to bring all of the previous maps up to par. Recall, the new Mantic is a melee energy support unit that we know you've all been craving. Yes, finally some healing! Of course, you'll have to find his catalyst first. I heard it's something called a... Uh... Multipass. I am beyond excited for you all to witness this next feature. I have read this energy signature before, Captain. Did you catch that? Hold on, I'll show you again. Three things came to be as a result of this prohibition. One is T-pop. Mrs. Mancrick and the team as a whole work together to make lip flaps finally a reality in our dialogue input system. I'm pretty sure this is one of the most requested features, so we really hope this helps make the storytelling sections of the game more immersive and fun. This is still a work in progress, with more improvements to come in the future as we fine-tune the system. Yep, we created our first minigame! It's still a very early iteration of our idea, so feel free to help us out by providing plenty of feedback on it. If you guys enjoy it enough, then we'd like to make it become a permanent part of the Mary Celeste's future dating system, with the ability to drink with the rest of the crew, more song selection, and who knows, maybe some kind of additional rewards? Aaron the Sketchy has blessed us again with more UI improvements for this block! Well, what do you guys think? Can you spot all the changes? As I mentioned earlier, this is a big story update that lets you meet Sova. So you won't be able to jump into bed with her just yet. But before you get out the pitchforks, we really didn't want to leave our players hanging completely dry of sexual content this patch. Some type of foreplay being included in the main story was another request we received very often. We went back and added some more erotic build-up before each of the girls' recruitment scenes. You can watch this new content by clicking on the archives in the captain's quarters. And if you're a new player, you'll get to experience it all fresh as part of the story. That's everything I can share with you for now. After you play the update, be sure to leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments below, or in our official Discord server. Thanks for listening!